So today we're going to be looking at the modular wall plates by Pro2. You'll notice that the codes they start with MW for modular wall plate and then the inserts will then have an I after it. In this case it's a, this one's a frame so MW13 representing the width of the wall plate and then FR for the frame. So it all starts from the frame. And there's a frame just like a normal Clipsal 2000 kind of shape and you can load absolutely anything into it. So brush wall plates are popular. The good thing is you just place it on top, push it down and the good thing about these is it can't push through. The other thing is that they also push back out fairly easily. The brush plate's a little bit more difficult to push out if you want it to be stable. But if you have a look at another insert, you just push it in and put the plate on top and you're done. So another cool thing, while we've got three, three bays, well these, unlike many, will accommodate a huge variety of different inserts. So this isn't our whole range, but you'll notice we've got USBs, we've got CAT6s, we've got USB type B for things like smart boards. We've got antenna connections. So these ones, the green ones, are the Foxtel approved ones. We've got a single output, Foxtel approved. Things like PAL inserts. BNCs for the security market, speaker cable for the speaker market, all of these different types of audio connections from DVI to HDMI, which we'll talk about soon, to composite, component, and RCA. Plus you've got VGA also on the video side. And you've got just about everything on the audio side, 3.5 mil, two RCA. You've got a toss link, which is really useful when you're doing a TV. So normally your uh, sound bar will be connected via the toss link. You can even have like a keystone. Um, so if you've got different brand keystone um, adapters, you can just whack them straight in here. As mentioned, you also have the brush. But the coolest one, without a doubt, is the bridge. So this is called a MWI, modular wall plate insert, um, and BL11. So the cool thing about this is it doesn't matter what you want to put through it. So if you've got a big chunky power cable, let's pick some power cables. So we've got a power cable here, for example. Actually, let's just do it on the fly. See how big that gap is? So you can whack all the stuff through. Maybe in this case we'll go one, two, and we'll go a figure eight. So we want all of these three things to come out of the plate. As mentioned before, all you need to do is whack these bridges in. You first get it into place. So one, grab another one. And the finish, the finish is nice, but the other thing is for places like schools where using a brush wall plate isn't practical because a brush wall plate the cables could go back inside uh, the wall. And so we've got just everything, everything going through here. And so it looks pretty cool too. So you've got your figure eight, you've got your IC, you even got a three pin. The big thing about this also, and the cool thing about this is HDMI these days is using massive bandwidths. So we shouldn't really be using that HDMI um, insert or wall plate if we've got a high bandwidth application. So things like Foxtel 4K, um, you shouldn't use a wall plate because it probably, if it works, it won't work reliably. But this one will fit just about any cable. In, in this case, I've got some of the thickest cables that you'll see. Um, These are 18K Pro 2, uh, 18 gigabit Pro 2 HDMI lead, so we'll load that one on it. Hopefully you're more coordinated than me. It's actually really easy, but anyway. This massive chunker is a, a blue stream cable. So massive gauge. I picked the fattest gauge cables that I could find in the warehouse. And we'll put that one on. And I've found also a um, Pro 2, 20, 20 meter Pro 2. So very high gauge 
HDMI cable. I wouldn't make a very good TV presenter. So you see here, and then we whack the wall plate on top, and you see here all the HDMI's look perfect. They're not going to go back through the wall plate because the head of the cable won't let them, and yet you're preserving your 18 gig speeds, so it's going to be a reliable connection. In the future, given the popularity of these, we'll be perhaps looking at a double, uh, a double bridge. Um, but yeah, this one's a real game changer. Haven't seen it anywhere in the industry. Maybe you have, but so far we haven't seen this product anywhere. Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. One thing for the commercial customers also, you actually have this blank uh, wall plate insert, which is just useful for completing jobs. But the other really cool thing about it is that you can sign right your name and contact details or phone number. Uh, so as long as there's a decent quantity, we can do it ourselves, so 200 pieces or more. Uh, but if you want to do it yourself also, bring it down to Miniman or a printer like that. Put your name, contact number, add it on the plate. And then your client will know to go back to you if there's any issues or if they want to continue adding more uh, systems.